This is part 2 of Hungry Squishy Brains Side Loader Garbage Truck Learning Neighborhood series. This video is jam-packed with all sorts of bits of knowledge to help you do one thing. To feed your hungry squishy brain. There's so much information packed in this video, you can jump right to a topic, see the timeline in the description below. Welcome to Hungry Squishy Brain. Please subscribe to our channel, this really helps more than you realize to grow our channel, and pressing the like button would show your preference for this content as well, thank you. Welcome to part 2 of our side loader garbage truck series in our learning neighborhood. We are now at another beautiful mansion on the corner, next to the previous mansion. Outside on the sidewalk are a bunch of items that need to be sorted out into the three trash carts. The green trash cart is for organic waste, such as yard clippings and food waste. The gray trash cart is for trash that goes straight to the landfill. And the blue trash cart is for recyclables. Let's sort all of these items into the three carts. First up, let's look at this old personal computer, this goes back to the 1980s, wow, that is old. So what cart does this item go into? Because it's electronic, we put it to the side, and we save it for later and we'll call for an e-waste special pickup from another truck, or we can drive it to an e-waste facility. Next is this chicken. Hopefully you won't be throwing away a perfect looking whole chicken. This chicken is just for our entertaining video here, but imagine this is an eaten up chicken, and this is only the inedible remains. So what cart does inedible chicken pieces go into? First, you need to check with your local trash pickup service, as each service has its own methods, but our local pickup service allows for meat items to be placed in the green organics cart. Because we are in California, the state of California actually prefers that you put meat items into a garden mulch in your own yard, to avoid having meat items go into any landfill. Next is this juice pouch. Do you know what cart these go into? These pouches have no recycling code on them, so these juice pouches go into the gray trash cart, and these pouches go straight to the landfill and are not recycled. How about these laundry detergent containers? These containers are labeled as recyclable. And the label on the back states to replace the cap. Yet our own trash service states on their website to remove all caps from containers. So we will remove the caps first, and the caps go into the gray cart. And the container goes into the blue cart to be recycled. Next up is this ceramic mug, which is cracked and a big piece is missing. Which cart does this go into? Well, regardless of it being broken, ceramics are not recyclable, so all ceramic items go into the gray cart and go straight to the landfill. How about this glass, which is not cracked and perfectly fine? Unbroken glass items are indeed recyclable, and therefore are to be placed in the blue trash cart. Here is a tin can of dark red kidney beans. It's called a tin can, but these cans are mainly made of steel, because steel is very strong. And then the steel is coated with tin, and the tin provides resistance to corrosion. These cans are indeed recyclable. The lids, which will have sharp edges, should be placed inside the empty can. Then ideally, the labels should be removed also. And since the labels are paper, the labels can go into the blue recyclables cart. And the can, then, goes into the blue recyclables cart as well. How about these blue jeans? 
they look like they're in good condition. With our trash pickup service, clothes are not able to be recycled, so these jeans would go into the gray trash cart and then go straight to the landfill. So with clothes in good condition, such as these jeans, we will set it aside and donate these jeans. Now how about this pizza box? Is this recyclable? This box looks very clean here, but imagine it has a lot of grease on it, like a typically used pizza box. Because of the grease, this pizza box then has to go into the gray regular trash cart and then it will go straight to the landfill. Only clean recyclable items can go into the blue cart. How about this bread? And all of this fruit? What trash cart do these go into? Well one thing you can do is to create your own outdoor compost. This is an outdoor compost bin. And you put organic waste inside of it, where it all then turns into nutrient-rich compost that you can spread on your lawn and gardens. How about meats and dairy, such as these pork ribs and this ravioli that has meat and cheese inside? Yes, these are organic matter, and yes, these can be placed inside the composter and turned into compost. But the Environmental Protection Agency, or the EPA, recommends against composting meat, because doing so can create rodent infestations and attract pests. And raw meat in particular can be harmful because it could be infected with E. coli or salmonella. So we want these meat items to go into the green bin for pickup. Next is this spray can of canola oil used as a nonstick cooking spray. The can has a label on its backside stating that it's made of steel and it's recyclable. But the can has to be completely empty of the canola oil first. If there's still any amount of oil in it, then it needs to go out with hazardous waste. The cap is plastic, but as we've mentioned, caps are to be discarded with our pickup carrier. Make sure and check with your trash pickup service to see what their procedures are for caps. And then the empty can goes into the blue recyclables trash cart. Here is a pasta sauce container and an applesauce container. The pasta sauce jar is glass with a metal lid, and the applesauce jar is plastic with a plastic lid. Both lids have to be removed. And with our trash removal service, all lids go into the gray trash cart and go straight to the landfill. And then both jars, plastic and glass, go into the blue recycling cart. Here is an empty container of rolled oats, an empty box of super moist cake mix, and an empty bottle of dish soap. The plastic lid comes off the oats container, and the cap comes off the dish soap bottle. Since the plastic lid for the oats is large, let's go ahead and drop it into the blue recycling cart. And here is the cap to the dish soap, it's tiny, there it is, this goes into the gray cart. And now the three containers go into the blue recycling cart. Here is an empty panini press box with the packing materials inside. This white packing material is labeled with the number 6 and the letters PS. This stands for polystyrene, which is made by polymerizing styrene, which is a type of plastic and is commonly referred to as styrofoam. Our waste collection service does want these PS, or polystyrene, items placed inside the blue recyclables cart. 
And then the cardboard box is broken down into pieces that will fit inside the blue cart. Then the next box is this large box that was for a new vacuum cleaner. And inside is a bunch of cardboard packing materials. Then the box is broken down into smaller pieces, and all of these pieces will then go into the blue cart. Now here comes the garbage truck to empty out the blue recyclables cart. First, the arm extends outward, then the grabber, with its fingers, grabs a hold of the blue recyclables trash cart. Next, the grabber is moved up and over the hopper along this steel track. This makes the contents drop into the hopper of the garbage truck. Just to be sure, the trash cart is moved back and forth an extra time. Then the cart is returned. And the garbage truck drives on to the next location. The neighbors are two rows of three-story townhomes, townhomes share attached walls. This is the first townhouse, with its waste items all laid out on the street, and of course, this is just a learning center we are at, so please do not lay out your waste items on any street like this. These trash carts are 65 gallon size, can you tell these are more narrow than the previous trash carts? So now let's sort out all of these items into the three carts. The easy items to figure out are the trash bags filled with waste, these are trash bags from the kitchen waste bin, and these filled up trash bags go into the grey trash cart. Let's look at each item closer. Here is a yogurt pouch with a blue cap. And a large plastic container with plastic lid for ground coffee. And here is a cottage cheese tub also with a plastic lid. Here is an empty bottle of fish sauce. Here is an empty box of waffle cones. Here is a styrofoam takeout container. Here is a small empty cardboard box. Here is a box of frozen lasagna made with Italian sausage. Here is a lotion bottle with pump. Here is an empty bag of chips. Here is a soda cup with lid and straw. And here is a large 90 ounce container of liquid dish soap that is empty with its cap already removed. Here is a small paper takeout container. Here is an empty medium-sized cardboard box. And here is an electric popcorn popper. 
and up here on the sidewalk is a palm frond. So the yogurt pouch has no recycling label on it, so we place it in the gray trash cart. The waffle cone box is made of paper, so it goes in the blue recycling cart. The popcorn maker is electric, so we set it to the side, and it will go out with a special e-waste pickup. Cardboard boxes go into the blue cart. The dish soap plastic bottle goes into the blue cart. The empty coffee ground container goes into the blue cart, along with its lid since it's large. Same with the cottage cheese container. If a takeout container is cleaned out and not messy, it goes into the blue cart. The lotion bottle should be empty and rinsed out, and its pump goes into the gray cart and the bottle then goes into the blue cart. The soda cup is coated with wax, so all of it just goes into the gray cart. And all empty bags of chips go into the gray cart. The lasagna box has its plastic container inside. This goes into the blue cart only if it's clean from any food or grease. And the lasagna box goes into the blue cart. The cardboard box goes into the blue cart. And so does the emptied and rinsed out fish sauce bottle. Let's first move the chair over to the sidewalk, or it will be picked up later by a bulk removal truck. Now the side loader garbage truck moves forward to the blue cart. And then the blue recyclables cart is emptied out into the hopper. And the garbage truck drives on to the next townhouse. Here is the row of townhomes, and the garbage truck stops at the second one. And here are the items that are waiting for us to sort out into the three carts. We have here an ironing board, tree branches, trash bag, milk jug, watermelon rinds, empty soda can, plumbing pipes, empty plastic bottle, empty juice bottle, cheeseburger and fries, broken handheld vacuum, and cardboard pieces. You can really tell here the three different sizes of carts. This blue cart is a 95 gallon capacity. It's taller, wider, and deeper than the other two. This middle one is the 35 gallon capacity, and you can see how it's shorter and more narrow than the others. And the green cart here is 65 gallon capacity, and though it does look close in size to the 95 gallon cart, this green cart is not as wide and deep. First, all three trash cart lids are opened. The empty milk jug goes into the blue cart, along with the plastic bottle. The trash bag goes into the gray cart. Where do these plastic plumbing pipes go? Per our pickup service, all plumbing parts go into the gray cart and are not recycled. The tree branches go into the green cart along with the watermelon rinds. The soda can goes into the blue cart. So does the plastic juice bottle. The electric handheld vacuum cleaner is set aside and goes to an e-waste facility. The cheeseburger goes into the green cart along with the fries. And the cardboard pieces go into the green cart as well. The ironing board stays there and is picked up with a bulk removal truck. 
Now the three lids are closed as much as possible. The grabber grabs a hold of the 95-gallon blue cart. And the blue cart is emptied out into the hopper. Then the side loader garbage truck drives on to the next townhouse. This concludes this episode of our side loader garbage truck series. We hope you have enjoyed learning with another informative and entertaining hungry squishy brain creation. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel and like our video that helps us out a lot. Hungry Squishy Brain